Uh, now this e ELTK, this is a um, very good chart. It's got some very good chart patterns on it for us to uh, recognize. Many of them, which we've uh, you know gone over in detail before, but um, you know this is a huge move for this stock from you know one uh, one seventy now to eight forty. You know that's a um, Ah, come on. Should be able to do that in my head. It's close to five times, 4.94 times move. So that's a huge, huge move. We can see it's up 375%, up six, uh, six dollars and twenty-one cents. So let's have a look at some of the patterns here, and this, especially this later pattern here. This is the one that I really like. So we, this morning we had this pre-market uh, base building. The stock popped up. Built this base in around three dollars. Had the resistance at three fifty from uh, further back. We can see here this was the resistance area at three fifty, and then again the resistance here at uh, four sixty five. So um, we have this base that it has, and it breaks out of the base. So this is your entry level here on this breakout three fifteen. And it, it's not a fake out breakout, it just goes and away it goes. And you're thinking, okay, it might run into resistance around three and a half for a couple of reasons. One, that is a natural resistance at the half dollar. And two, it was uh, resistance from much further back uh, that we'd shown before. So it does pop through that, and we and we get into this uptrending channel, which we we draw here. We see this pop, and it then it gets up into this area here, gets halted, comes off sharply, and breaks the channel. So this is, you know, if you had traded this, I think we I had said um, 350 was a target, and then 450. Um, you know, really while uh, exceeded expect wildly exceeded expectations. And it gets up to 677, uh, halts and comes off sharply. So, you, you know, you, and then when it breaks this channel line, you want to be getting out of the stock. So, I mean, you'd be selling, you know, as it goes up. And then as it breaks down, you, you sell and you get out of the trade. Um, but then it consolidates and it gets into this coil, into this wedge. Uh, you know, wedge pattern, coiling pattern. And we see as it gets close to the apex of the of the coil this is where we're expecting it to go one way or the other up or down um, we don't i mean this is a bull chart so one two three four wave five we would expect uh because we would call this a bullish wedge we would expect it to go to the upside but not necessarily they don't go always go the way we want them to go but when it did break out here uh through this wedge at uh, uh, 629 and then also through the high of this sort of area in here swoops this area in here 643 uh, that was a good entry opportunity for this stock now you would have been watching this very carefully and had your finger on the trigger to catch this but then it pops and now it's flagging again uh, this is a bull flag again this is another bull flag so we'll see which way it, it resolves itself when it gets to the um, apex of this of this pattern that's forming now it is it's pretty tight if it breaks down then we could see it pull back here to 650 but if it breaks to the upside um, I mean 10 is your next stop for this thing and you get a stock like this that only has less than 900,000 shares outstanding and that it can do that